All rise. Second floor of the is now in session. The Honorable Dewey Arthur presides. All right, please be seated. Please bring the defendant to the podium. All right, we're here by way of free trial conference checklist, which means that the defendant has rejected any recommendation from the state. For the record, what was the last recommendation of the state of Mississippi? Here, the state recommended uh, 40 years in the custody of Mississippi Department of Corrections and agreed to null cross counts two and three of the indictment. Um, but again, there were fines and no contact and things like that. All right, Miss uh, Greg, did you receive that recommendation of 40 years? Y yes, sir. And it was your choice and your choice alone to reject that recommendation? Yes, Your Honor. You know, if she proceeds to trial, count one, what's the potential sentence? Life. If the jury fails to affix the sentence at life, what's the uh, sentencing range? 40, uh, 20 years to 40 years. All right, and count two, what's the potential uh, sentence? Uh, between 20 years and life. All right. She's 14 years old, so if the jury fails to fix the punishment at life, she's facing 50 years? Give or take, Your Honor, yes. Okay. And in count three, what's she facing? Uh, another 10 years. Another 10 years. So you, the jury will either acquit you or you'll be facing two life sentences or this court can sentence you up to 93 years. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. It's your choice and your choice alone to, to proceed to trial. Yes, Your Honor. I right, see. It says discovery is complete except expert reports from McNaughton experts. I thought I've ordered, I've ordered that. Those be turned over three times. Has that been received by the state? No, sir, Your Honor. And um, I just, before you walked in, got with counsel opposite and showed them two orders that uh, were motions that he granted last time we were in front of you. The order granting our motion to compel their compliance with the mental evaluation analysis and also the order granting the motion to compel compliance with Rule 17. May I pray? trying to offer experts at this trial? Here are, we have an expert that's going to be doing an evaluation. We do not uh, the, we do not plan on contacting him. All right. Well, and, and Your Honor, just for the clarification, we are aware of the, the time constraints and we know that we have to uh, get our uh, evaluation done, our evaluation is happening on Thursday. Yeah, and the actually, the, the reports were due a month ago, Mr. King. I signed an order more than a month ago. Now, I, I'm not going to, there's nothing in front of me to rule on at this time. There's nothing in front of me to rule on at this time. All right. It says that there's some pending motions, anticipated motions, press your urine test, and both sides think it'd be three days for trial. Is that correct by the state? Yeah, I believe it'll take probably a little more than three days. Uh, there are additional motions that the state intends to file, certainly some motions in limine. All right. Other defense? Uh, Your Honor, I expect the trial itself to take, probably take four or five days. All right. <coughs> I'll remind both sides these jurors are getting paid a whopping $25 a day. So, uh, y'all drag this case out at your own peril. However, I'm going to give each side plenty of time to try your case. All right. All motions under Rule 16.1, the motion filing deadline is this Friday, August 30th, 2024. 
Under Rule 34.1, the Mississippi Rules of Criminal Procedure, all motions must be in writing and must contain a concise statement of the precise relief requested and must state the specific factual grounds and specific legal authority. Failure to comply will result in the motion being considered, considered procedurally abandoned or waived. Responses must be in filed in writing before the close of business, Wednesday, September 4th, 2024, or the motion may be considered confessed. Reply to any response may be filed if desired before the close of business on Friday, September 6, 2024. Under Rule 34.2, you must be in court on Tuesday, September 24, 20, September 10th, 2024 at 9 o'clock for hearings on pretrial motions. All jury instructions must be pre-filed before the close of business on Friday, September 13th, 2024. This court will not entertain a request for jury instru instructions. Either party failed to pre-file unless there is good cause shown. Additionally, an editable copy of all instructions must be emailed in Microsoft Word format to sbutler at rankincounty.org. All right, I need this attorney for the state. I already signed off on this. Yes, sir. Oh, my God, yeah. Do I need to put uh, the additional motions? No, as long as the motions are filed by the motion filing deadline, the court's going to consider all motions both parties file. As long as they contain a legal basis and, you know, some case law. All right, anything further from the state? All right, I think the only pending matter, uh, and, and this may be something that we address at the pretrial conference, is the defendant and I don't have it in front of me, I think filed a motion to transfer to youth court um, that we've never heard. Do you want to hear that on pretrial conference day or do you want to hear it today? Uh, pretrial conference day. All right, the court will hear that matter on pretrial conference day. Anything further from the defense? No, you're not. Best of luck to both sides. The defendant will remain in custody to await trial. Thank you.